Denise Marley from the Energy Boutique with your energy forecast for Wednesday, May 22nd. Okay, so today we have the moon in Scorpio again all day, and that's really going to help us kind of push ourselves mentally and emotionally within ourselves to uncover and unearth some blockages. We need to figure out the hidden details, the hidden information in order for us to basically figure out where it is that we're going from here. Something is blocking us in our mental plane. We're now in Gemini season. The focus is on the headspace. There's something blocking us in our emotions and our programming. The moon and Scorpio going to help us kind of put the detective hats on and start doing the shadow work to really examine where the blockages are. Once we find the blockages, we can flip them, we can rewrite them, we can put them in a more powerful position to help us out. We are in the process of elimination, understanding what it is that we have to get rid of before we can actually start building towards something new. So we're ready to investigate, so to speak, and the emotional and mental intensity that is pushing us to have a more concentrated focus on figuring out what the blockages actually are, definitely going to be felt. Now, we're also moving into the full moon window. We have the full moon popping off here in Sag Energy early on the 23rd. And this is the last day that Venus, the goddess of love, beauty, worth, pleasure, and money, will be in her rulership in Taurus energy. Side note to all of this, we also have Venus and Jupiter coming together for their conjunction in the final degrees of Taurus energy here on the same day as the full moon in Sag, as the same day that Venus moves into Gemini energy. So we are already within orb of feeling these particular conjunctions, feeling this illumination, feeling this energetic shift between our heart and our head. There's a lot going on. So if you haven't listened to this week's Ascension forecast, I'm going to recommend you do that. If you haven't listened to the Gemini season Astro forecast, I'm going to recommend you do that. I am also going to recommend that you download the Gemini season e-guide that is going to help kind of figure out where it is that in your life, these energies are going to impact and influence you the most. The May Zodiac forecasts are there for your listening pleasure in order to totally understand how your life is shifting due to the shift in the mental plane in the heart space that of course under the full moon and sag we should be seeing a bigger broader perspective a deeper understanding of not only where it is that we're coming from and why certain situations had to happen but where it is that we need to go from here Okay, so there are eight different aspects taking place here today. Seven of them are going to involve the moon. The moon in Scorpio energy going to make a very tough interaction with Mars. Mars co-rules over the Scorpio energy, so there's an intensity here definitely pressurizing us to understand why it is that we're frustrated, why we're agitated, why there's a little bit of anger coming to the forefront. Uh, spoiler alert, Mars is in his rulership and Aries energy, thus the tantrums, thus the frustration, thus the ants in our pants. This particular interaction is going to illuminate where it is that we're feeling blocked, where it is that we're feeling stuck. We have a lot to learn from anger and frustration. And this is going to provide us an opportunity to feel those intensities and then unpack those intensities in order to figure out where the seed, the root problem is actually stemming from. This has a lot to do with the fact that we have essentially been in a building period, building inspiration, building motivation, building excitement, or building in anger and frustration. There are two very powerful fuel sources that we could be using here. Again, inspiration and excitement versus anger and frustration. Either way, it's going to help us make a change, but we haven't been able to see the opportunities that we were hoping for in our physical realm to take action and make moves. Thus, the frustration. Thus, 
discuss the anger building. Why? Because Mars would prefer to take action and make moves outside of ourselves when realistically speaking, the moves and the action that is available for the taking is in the inner realm to make the change, to make the transformation that we need to make in order to get the heart and head in alignment. And then we can engage the physical body to take action to make moves out in the physical realm. So the moon in Scorpio doing the shadow work, this is all part and parcel of it. We're definitely feeling the heat, feeling the fire building within us, either in excitement and inspiration or anger and frustration. Either way, it's going to propel us to make a major change. The moon is then going to trine Saturn. Saturn is the Lord of Karma, ruling over roles, responsibilities, systems, structures, foundations, willpower, and discipline. And he is in Pisces energy, attempting to close out a 30-year cycle, also deconstructing the old set of beliefs, the old vision, the old goals, the old dreams, the old karma if you will. Now this is water on water action and we love this. A trine is harmonizing. We get an element where emotionally and spiritually speaking, we are kind of cleansed and purified from some of the heavier weights, especially coming out of that tough interaction with Mars. We're kind of cooling our systems down, so to speak after we kind of reach a more soothing level in our emotions and intuition, we're able to change and transform. What is it that we're changing and transforming, you may ask? Well, it is our ability to see what is blocking us from building something new. Again, we're in elimination phase. We have to remove things out of our lives in order to have a space to kind of clear the slate and start building towards a new goal, new vision, new dream. Now, a lot of this is eliminating the false set of beliefs, the limiting beliefs, the negative Nancy narratives, the emotional blockages from not feeling, I'm going to say, deserving of the happiness and joy that, of course, manifesting our gold vision and dreams at this particular point would actually gift us. So this is an emotional boss up. We're starting to feel empowered. We're starting to realize where it is that we have the ability to take power and control over our inner realm, over our thoughts, over our emotions, and really see where it is that the The blockages are what's preventing us from actually moving on and moving forward. The moon is then going to make a very positive interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, the ruler over the Scorpio energy that the moon is in. And Pluto is retrograde in Aquarius energy, showing us internally where it is that the power struggle is alive and well. Of course, we have to identify the problem in order to flip it, to override it, to rescript it for us to actually improve and better our lives, especially where new levels of awareness are concerned. Again, we have to identify identify the problem in order to fix it. The Scorpio energy is very intense in our emotional and spiritual realm, while the Aquarius energy is pushing us to act as the observer, especially where our psyche is concerned, where the egoic programming is concerned. And again, that Aquarius energy is attempting to push us into new levels of enlightenment, new levels of consciousness and awareness. And from that particular observation point, we should very clearly see where it is that there are certain fixed aspects. Again, fixed energy coming from the Scorpio energy that the moon is in, fixed on a certain narrative, fixed on a certain emotion that typically speaking is blocking us from actually moving on and moving forward. We love this interaction because first of all, it is going to intensify our overall experience, our emotional state, our mental state as well. It is going to bring a little bit of a seriousness to it because again, we have our detective hat on. We're on a mission here to kind of do the shadow work and unearth the problems in order for us to solve them. And this particular interaction is going to empower us to boss up, to take control over our inner realm. We definitely need it at this particular juncture, especially as we head into a full moon. The moon in Scorpio, then going to make a positive interaction with that north node in Aries energy. This is a glimmer, a little bit of a window, if you will, where we're starting to see where it is that, again, through the process of elimination and examining where it is that we are having some blockages, we are having some challenges in our inner realm, 
This is attempting to show us that, hmm, okay, now that I understand this, now that I have an awareness of this, I'm actually able to see where it is that I can either push through it or walk totally around it. What we're getting at is starting to see a couple of steps actually present themselves where we can actually move on, move forward. This is giving us a little bit of hope. This is really kind of validating for us that when we're operating from our most powerful placement and acting as the observer and getting real and raw and vulnerable with ourselves, that we have the ability to squash some of the blockages, to override them and actually open up a space a, I'm going to say possibility for us to do something different, moving on and moving forward. Now, the only aspect that doesn't involve the moon here today involves the sun now in Gemini energy, trining beautiful interaction with Pluto, the great transformer himself, who was retrograde in Aquarius energy, also an air sign. So we have a mutable air sign that the sun is in, and we have a fixed air sign that Pluto is in. This particular energy, first of all, is going to bring us down a couple of pegs, not in a negative way, but we have to be a little bit more serious, a little bit more focused on what it is that we have to get focused on in order for us to make any kind of progress. First of all, the sun shining very, very brightly in Gemini energy is highlighting the mental plane. Pluto, who rules over the deepest, darkest parts of our psyche, is attempting to illuminate for us where it is that some of the blockages are, where it is that maybe we're too limited in our thoughts, in our inner dialogues, in our narratives, in our expectations. This is a beautiful opportunity for us to see where it is that we have to kind of be a little bit more concentrated on what it is that we want to accomplish, what it is that we want to actually achieve. This is about the goal goals that we are now setting, but kind of defining them in a much more detailed kind of way. This particular focus, again, is helping us to really hone in on the negative parts of our dialogue, the negative parts of our perception, the negative parts of our emotions, because again, we're in the process of eliminating these particular negative frequencies in order to free up the space for us to think about something different. This is a reframing, if you will, of some of the things that we've been banging our head against a wall about. So this has to do with us kind of getting a little bit more serious, a little bit more concentrated and focused on the issues that we need to address in order to remove them, to free us up, to build something better in the place of the things that are very much blocking us from moving on. So this is going to be a very powerful interaction, a powerful energy. And of course, we are really setting ourselves up for a lot of empowerment, especially where our mental plane is concerned. It's taking place at a very interesting dynamic because, of course, we are going to take a dip in the not so nice energies here shortly after. Why, you may ask? Well, the moon in Scorpio energy going to make a very tough interaction with Chiron, the wounded healer in Aries energy. So as we've been talking about, just as we are building ourselves up, just as we're anchoring more and more into this new version of self, we tend to get slapped back down to earth a little bit and we kind of lose ourselves in the egoic programming. This would be a fine example of that because just when we were feeling empowered and focused and concentrated on what needed to be kind of revised and reworked and reframed, especially in our thoughts and our perception and in our narratives we're not feeling so hot we're not feeling so sure we're not feeling so safe we're not feeling so secure and so a lot of the old version of self where the old self-worth the old self-confidence the old self-esteem the lack of worth the lack of deserving comes out to play so to speak Suddenly, we are riddled with fears, with doubts, with insecurities. Suddenly, we're speaking fear into our plans. Suddenly, we're a little bit paranoid. Suddenly, we're waiting for the ball to drop. It just does not feel good. Now, we're going to sit in that for a couple of hours. And lucky for us, we're going to have a little bit of a break because the moon in the Scorpio energy going to be making a positive interaction with Mars. So we had a rough start to the day between the moon and Mars. Now, later in the day, this is shifting in our favor. 
First of all, we are intensifying our emotions. Again, cultivating and building the fire, the spark, the flame of inspiration, excitement, or anger and frustration. Now, even though this is a positive interaction, if you are choosing the fuel of anger and frustration in order to motivate you and keep you kind of focused on your goals, and this is the fuel that you're using to make the change, to make the transformation in your physical realm, then you're going to be tapping into this intensity and you're going to be kind of more hell bent on yep this has to happen yep I'm damn well and determined yep I'm pushing forward if you're using inspiration and excitement of course you're going to have more of a giddy more playful vibe to the advancing of plans the advancing of emotion the advancing of goals as well however this is a pick-me-up this is putting some pep back in our step this is infusing us with power with control this is the warrior type of spirit that we're going to need in order to move forward in a new path and this is definitely putting us in a situation and circumstance where we're overriding a lot of the fears, the dotsy and securities that we were sitting on earlier in the day. The last thing that we have going on here today is the moon in the Scorpio energy sitting directly across from and opposing Uranus, the great awakener in Taurus energy. So of course, Taurus energy and Scorpio energy sit across from each other in the Zodiac wheel. This is an intensity, but it's also a jolt of energy coming into our physical form, likely having huge influence on our central nervous system. Again, take a listen to the Ascension forecast for this week to understand and where the energy is manifesting in our physical bodies. But basically, this is a choice point. And because fixed energy is concerned, again, fixed water energy from Scorpio, fixed earth energy from Taurus energy, we're a little bit stubborn. We're a little bit fixated on where it is that we know that we have to change, where we have to open our mind and our heart space up to doing things differently, but we don't want to we do not want to change. Yes, we want to see the changes, but it's almost like we want to fast forward through the hard parts. We just want to open our eyes and be at the end of the process where the change and transformation is already behind us. And so we are coming to a pivot point. That's that full moon and such. We are coming to a decision point. We are coming to a choice point. We're in Gemini season. This is what this is all about. And just when we start seeing the glimmers of potential of the process to actually move forward, that is the moment that we clam up. That's the moment that we get cold feet. And so even though there is a little bit of, I'm going to say, an opportunity to see the path forward, we're actually making excuses for ourselves and creating anxiety where there doesn't need to be any and really kind of making the situation more confusing, more delusional than it actually needs to be. And that is just an automatic natural response from the egoic programming to kind of prevent us from making any changes, from evolving, from growing. So this is definitely going to have a major influence on our mood and our attitude and likely our physical form due to that Uranian energy just sending a lightning bolt through our central nervous system. We are going to feel a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious, if I do say so myself, because again, we are building to a pivot point. The peak precipice where change of transformation is definitely going to be more seen in our physical realms now that we've been doing the work to get in alignment in our inner realms. <laughs> 